tonight, it's an all-new GTTV on Spike, and the future of games is here at GDC 2013. We've got breaking news on Battlefield 4 from DICE, and I've got an exclusive interview with Hideo Kojima on Metal Gear Solid 5: The Phantom Pain. Plus, Daniel Kaiser puts his gaming skills to the test in a Combat Facts Capture the Flag match. Mega64 teaches a lesson in video game etiquette. And the science of games investigates the likelihood of a Last of Us outbreak. The games of tomorrow today. GTTV starts right now. Welcome to an all new GTTV on Spike. I'm Jeff Keeley, and the next generation of games is starting to be unveiled. Battlefield 4 was recently shown by DICE. We got to take a first look. All right, I'm here with Patrick Bach from DICE. Patrick, you guys just unveiled Battlefield 4, which uh, a lot of people are talking about online because the footage looks absolutely spectacular. What's different about this game? Well, there's a lot of things that are different. I think the, the you know, at its core, it's a Battlefield game, so we won't change the, the, the formula that Battlefield is kind of based on. But what we're doing is like, you know, trying to push the boundaries of what is possible to create in a game, not only from a visual standpoint, but also from a gameplay perspective. Roger, I need your help! So we are taking a lot of elements from the multiplayer of Battlefield and moving that into the single player and marry that with a you know, very strong narrative drama that is you know, something that we care a lot about. Come on! The bones powder, just flesh it! The personalities, dramatic moments. Do it! Cut it now! And then have the freedom of choice that you have in multiplayer. Now, some people watching this may be a little skeptical because Battlefield 3's campaign, you know, people were a little confused by it. This sounds like you're trying to make this, as you said, more into a Battlefield game. So there's going to be a little more choice in single player about which vehicles you use, how you approach the level? Yes, absolutely. We want to open up so if you, know, if you see a vehicle, you can choose to use that or you can just ignore it and find a, a different solution to the problem. Also, you saw examples of our engage feature. We actually point out targets for your squad to engage at. Copy that. And also, on top of that, you have the super engage. Like, if you have a helicopter right. you know, available, you can you know, give orders to that, so you get the super engage. Not so only are you telling your squad where to go? Are you directing them in, in a single player? Get your squad position. Out. We're just one click away. We don't want direct control because we know that people in general you know, know how to move through terrain, so you don't, they don't need that detail of direction. So they know what to do, but they will help you and you will help them by pointing out targets. Record. And if you have the support of, for instance, a helicopter, you can get that helicopter to help you out as well. Battlefield 4 coming out later this year. We're going to be seeing a lot more of it, I'm sure, at E3 and beyond, but it looks phenomenal. We saw it running on a PC tonight. 60 frames per second, right? 1080p? Uh, no, 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 it's way more than 1080p. It's, How many P do you got? I think it's uh, 3K resolutions. It's uh, you know, around 50% uh, higher than 1080p. Sounds like something a lot of computers can't even run right now, right? Well, I think if you have a decent PC, you could probably run it. 3K, 60 frames. All right, only from Battlefield 4. Nice shooting, Tombstone. See you guys on the roof. Don't keep me waiting. Roger that. We'll be there. Do you feel cramped at your desk whenever you're just trying to watch a game review? Are your thumbs getting in the way when you watch a trailer on your mobile screens? And why can't video game stuff be on TV all day long? Now there's the Game Trailers Xbox app, where you can watch every trailer, review, and all of your favorite GT original shows from Pack Attack to Pop Fiction from the comfort of your couch. No more chips on the keyboard, no more fingers in the way, just video games on your TV for as long as you want. 
You can download the GT app on the Xbox Live Marketplace now for three easy payments of $0 and 0 d 0 cents. That's right, absolutely free. The Game Trailers Xbox app. It's GT without leaving your couch. I need to remind you guys out there. When we come back, the science of games infects us with parasite paranoia. In some women, they make them this kind of crazy cat lady. And Combat Facts compares online teamwork to what's used in real-life battlefields. 